Sound speeds, even when it's raining it does. Like when the rain is coming down downspouts and landing in puddles and you hear that dripping sound. Or when you have a fake sink on set and you have water going down that into a bucket. Well, there are techniques that we professional sound people use on set to reduce the effects of that watery badness. And the main one is using hog's hair. Hog's hair, furnace filters, air conditioning filters, whatever you want to call them. They are used to break up the effects of that water as it hits whatever surface it's landing on. As a matter of fact, Gotham Sound and Communication on their Gotham TV YouTube channel discussed this in March of 2017 in a segment about rain protection. Now, let me show you an excerpt that I'm using with permission. Here we have a large uh, basin of water, our basin, empty basin. You can hear it's pretty hollow, sounds pretty bad. So if you were to be filming inside, say, a, uh, a building with a hot tin roof, um, it might sound like this when it rains. Perfect. One thing you can do to treat something like that is to use hog's hair. So what hog's hair is, uh, it's available, we have it. It's available at places like Granger, any kind of industrial supply store. Um, it is essentially a, an industrial uh, air conditioning filter. And what it is, is it's just got a tiny, a, a bunch of tiny little fibers all woven together that allows sound to pass through it, but uh, it slows down the water and actually breaks up the water droplets. So we're just gonna drop that right in our bin. A lot different. Thank you, Josephina. So it's a lot different, uh, as you can tell. It really it makes it feel like it's raining on grass as opposed to banging on tin. Hog's hair is great, but it does have a couple of downfalls. If you put it at the bottom of a bucket, as that water level rises, as soon as it hits up over the top of the hog's hair, it is going to be dripping again because it is no longer effective. Okay, so you may say, I'll add another layer. Great, you've added another layer. That might buy you another few seconds on set. If it's a long take though, it's gonna still go over that and you're gonna hear the dripping again. So when we troubleshoot, we have to think about the problem. Then we have to think about solutions to overcome that problem. In the case of the hog's hair at the bottom of a bucket, as the water level starts to rise, we have to come up with a solution to get this hog's hair on top of the water so that it can continue to work for us. Here's my trick for this. You can get a piece of round styrofoam from some place like Hobby Lobby, Joann's, even Amazon or a dollar store. And you cut this hog's hair to fit this styrofoam. Once you overlay them on top, it now is going to rise to the top of the surface of the water. But how do you keep them together? Here's your solution, hair nets. Believe it or not, you can get 100 hair nets for about $8 on Amazon. And these things go around it perfectly. Three hair nets on a disc this size or even this size should do the trick. Hair nets are strong and they're great at keeping the hog's hair against the disc without lowering the effectiveness that the hog's hair has against water. The disc rises to the top of the water bucket, but does not fall out. So it continues to be effective against the water. But the water that is overflowing over the edge of the bucket could make noise as it hits the outside of the ground. So maybe a little hog's hair underneath the bucket itself could help if you're not able to dump out the bucket as often as you'd like. Nobody likes to hear water dripping over their dialogue, so make a few of these discs in advance. As a matter of fact, make a few different sizes of these discs in advance because you don't know what size is going to match the buckets you have available. It only costs a few dollars and takes a few minutes to make, but it can save your dialogue. So what are you waiting for? Make them. That's sound advice. Have a question you'd like answered or want to add something? Be sure to write it in the comment section down below. You can also make a suggestion for future topics of discussion. Again, comment section down below or you can email me at soundspeeds at yahoo.com. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss out on future sound advice.